Hello and welcome to India Today Any. If there is one politician whose victory is not dependent on the party symbol, then it's Sudip Roy Burman. Six-time MLA from Tripura's Agartala constituency, he is with us to talk about the magic behind his victory and the prospect of the left and Congress alliance, which is a very unique alliance because they had been arch rivals for s- several decades. Uh, in the upcoming uh, Tripura State Assembly elections on 16th of February. Uh, Mr. Burman, how do you see the prospect this time? More than our hard work, if the BGP which has spoiled their prospect, and uh, as because the electors are so, so frustrated with their activities, because, you know, what they had promised, they have not kept those promises. They have not worked uh, for those. And a state of lawlessness has reached to such an extent wherein each and every hour there are political incidents of political violence. So people are very much aggrieved and are just waiting, keeping their fingers crossed, waiting for the 16th to come. And I believe there will be a tsunami on the day of 16th. Uh, the results of which will speak of itself on uh, 2nd of March. Tsunami for which side? BJP or your ally? Obviously against the BJP. It will be completely in favor of uh, the seat adjustment that took place in between the left and the Congress. You have seen it all. You have been a Congress member. You were in TMC and you were in BJP. So probably you know uh, the internal strategies of almost all parties in um, Tripura. Probably you haven't joined Tipra Motha. <laughs> so uh, how do you see this uh, um, alliance? Where do you think it can impact uh, the BJP? Because uh, why I'm asking you this question in the tribal seats or indigenous seats, uh, Tipra Motha has emerged as the strong contender. So in that context, among the uh, seats which are general seats or uh, primarily dominated by Bengali votes, how do you think you will uh, woo these voters to support this alliance? No, I, I don't deny the fact that Tipra Motha is strong in some, uh, in, in some uh, pockets of indigenous uh, electors. And yes, they will. They too, they, are, they too are going to win a quite handsome number of seats. Uh, can you put a number to this handsome win? Uh, well, could, it could be in around 12, 13 of, uh, out of those who they are contesting. And, uh, but the alliance, or not the alliance, you can say the left and the Congress, they are going to cross the magic number of forming the government. So, last time we saw that uh, the BJP got 44% and CPIM, though it lost, they got 42%. There's a marginal difference and Congress got just 1.5%, or 1.25%. What we noticed is that most of the votes that Congress supporters actually went back to, went to BJP. Do you think that you can this time bring back those Congress votes because we saw a glimmer of hope in Lok Sabha uh, elections where Congress probably got 25%, but that time we were in BJP. So how do you see that? Uh, How do you see the performance of Congress considering that you are contesting only in 13 seats? Yeah, if you... It is not the reflection of the Congress strength. The 13 number is not the reflection of the Congress strength. Congress has sacrificed its party's interest for the interest of the common people. Yes, uh, a sizable, more than, more than you can say, 60% of those electors who went to the BGP, the, the Congress vote share, they have all returned to the Congress. Many more are likely to cross over because they are a bit afraid, a timid in nature, a bit afraid of uh, the consequences of this hooliganism that is finding place in, uh, on each and every hour. So they are keeping their fingers crossed. They are in touch with us, but they are going to obviously going to vote for us. They are working with BGP. They are participating in programs, but they are going to vote for the Congress party, wherever the Congress candidates are there in the fray. Many are asking this question that the Congress voters, they actually supported BJP last time to oust the 
CPM government because the kind of allegations that you are raising against BJP, the same kind of allegations were traditionally raised against CPIM. So why a Congress voter uh, who defected to BJP would vote again for Congress just to elect a CPIM government? Well, the fact of the matter is the last thing that you would like to give up is your self-respect. Now, the electors or the voters or the people of the state, they have lost their self-respect before the goons of the BGP. Daily, all this political violence are taking place across the state. And incidentally, the, the, allegation, the allegation that the BGP is trying to ooh the sentiments of the Congress voters stating few incidents that took place during the left regime. But the fact of the matter is, those murderers who took precious lives of uh, congressmen, they have now literally become the asset of the BGP. They are either elected member of the Panchayat Samiti or Gra Gram Pradhan or uh, Mandal uh, Sabhapati or Mandal Secretary or Yuva Morcha or Kisan Morcha or any other murder, they, uh, they have now become the asset. All those murderers are now assets of the BGB. Obviously, realizing that, it was a mur yes, they, they, they murdered uh, during the regime of the CPM, but CPM did not give their political uh, recognition to them. Nor did the Congress, during Congress time also, uh, a lot of CPM were murdered, but Congress never gave any political recognition to them. The criminal is a criminal. They have got no, no political identity. <laughs> But it's the BGP only who gives the political identity. Those gundas, those murderers are now become the leaders of the party. They have to become the assets of the party. Here's the difference. And people having realized that, they thought, we went for a betterment for the society, for the state, but it's just the reverse. So we have to bring down this government to save democracy and to ensure that uh, the values of the constitution is upheld in the state of Tripura. You had left uh, Congress disillusioned with the Congress leadership. Now, the Congress leadership at the center hasn't changed much. Uh, what made you come back to Congress and why do you think the Congress is different now? Or is it that you don't, you, no party is left anymore in Tripura so that you can join any new party? No, it's not, I, I was never disillusioned with the Congress leadership. It was because of a section, my general secretary in charge, having protested. Uh, uh, regarding the alliance in West Bengal, I was suspended from the party. Uh, I didn't leave. I was rather shown the exit door by the general secretary in charge of my state. So there's the reason. I was never, never delusion. I had got tremendous respect towards the Congress leadership. And it's the Congress party, you know, which uh, think of the common people, which really undertakes uh, various schemes and projects for the common people. All those schemes which, which now Narendra Modi is boasting of, be it right to education, right to Food Security Act, uh, Health Security Act, uh, MG and Rega, or your here aer aer aerodrome, or railways, or national highways, were all built up and all money was sanctioned during the UP regime. So nothing to boast around by the BGP. Congress is the only party which Things of the com poor people, and that's the reason why this Adani and Ambani are hard after Congress, uh, tr capturing all the media, uh, turning them into Godi media, and um, making wild stories, allegations of 2G, 3G, 4G spectrum, Koila, Ghotla. Where are those now? Oh, nine years have been spent by Mr. Narendra Modi. What action has he taken? People are getting clean shit. So all these wild allegations were revealed against because Congress was pro pre capitalist They were not pro uh, chronic capitalists. That's the main reason. That's, that's why uh, this chronic capitalist purchased or had the majority share of the uh, of all the electronic and print media. And that's the reason why uh, the media has succumbed under the, the, the pressure of the Modi and the capitalist, chronic capitalist. That seems to be a favorite, uh, uh, favorite phrase every politician nowadays no, uses no, against no, no, media. We are witnessing, I don't know about the national level. I, we are witnessing over here itself. We are witnessing of the here level. One, there is PB24 and Pratibadi Kalam. There is one renowned uh, newspaper and uh, TV channel. Goons attacked them because they were calling spade a spade. That's how the uh, fourth pillar of democracy has been throttled in the state of Tripura. 
So likewise, what we come to know from various sources, that the media across the nation is under immense pressure. We don't, we don't blame the media persons. But the fact of the matter is, Malik agar मालिक अगर वो कैपिटल कॉलोनी कैपिटलिस्ट बन जाता है जो आ, उनका सबसे प्यारा दोस्त है मोदी जी का अमित जी का तो आप लोग क्या करोगे यू आर जस्ट अ मियर कर्मचारी उस, उस मीडिया का वी आर नॉट ब्लेम यू पीपल वी आर ब्लेमिंग द पर्सन हु हैव ग्रैब्ड द नेशनल द नेशनल मीडिया बी द प्रिंट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया फॉर द पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट एंड टू टेक रिवेंज अपॉन द कांग्रेस फॉर इज प्रो पुअर पीपल स्टैंड For your kind information, India Today Group or its owner, we are not part of any uh, coterie, I'm or we are not with I, any I, I any not side. Any India Today or any no, you said media across the nation. That's yeah. why I thought I should correct you because uh, India Today Group is not part of any side. Uh, but uh, now, when it comes to side, if there is a situation uh, post elections that you need the support of either TMC or Tipra Motha. Are you willing to join hands? Interestingly, on both sides, खाता नहीं खुलेगा. But if if uh, there is, there is a requirement from Tipra Motha, you said they will get at least twelve yeah. seats. So you have a you have a partner there, old colleague uh, Pradyut Dev Barma. Yeah. So would you like to join hands with them? We are quite confident that the left and the Congress is going to cross the magic number, and in case. we require the help of mr pradut kishor the burman is party obviously why not he too is against the bjp yes he didn't join our this thing uh, sit adjustment but he too is against the bjp fighting out the bjp he'll be defeating the bjp why not but he has a very strong demand uh, separate tipra no, land no 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 this is we do not endorse his views but he has got every right to raise this demand the same demand was being raised by the ipft also who happens to be the partner of the bjp the constitution provides to raise this demand it is nothing not an, uh, unconstitutional but yes congress do not endorse the, their demand and congress do not believe that a small state like tripura will be bifurcated yes we opine that the pace of development uh, that uh, ought to have taken place in the indigenous belt didn't take place and for that The urgent requirement is 125th amendment bill to be passed by the parliament, and once that happens, you know, uh, there will be a huge amount of quantum of money flow. Uh, the three-tier panchayat will exist now; it's a single-tier panchayat in the ADC, for having not passed this 125th amendment bill. So once that passes through, the the the, the overall economical, political, and social scenario of the indigenous belt will change across the, the state of Tripura. my last question yesterday uh, former tripura cm biplab dev he made a very peculiar allegation that uh, tripura former cm uh, manik sarkar uh, who is the leader of cpim he is not happy with the congress and uh, left coming together and that's the reason he is not even contesting the poll so is there a friction even before the alliance uh, starts and today manik sir ka said that it's not exactly an alliance but it's a sincere adjustment so uh, could we sense some sort of uh, friction between the two sides i haven't said any alliance i too have said it's a sit adjustment and a peculiar statement by mr the ex former chief minister he is in famous for all these sort of statements uh, but he's a source of entertainment for the national media for the for the people and and especially the people of my state uh, young kids uh, they stop they have now stopped uh, it's a huge lot for them those who is to look for um, cartoon films now they once he speaks they watch him and laugh so he's a source of entertainment for all uh, the kids as well as for all of us so he that liberty to make all this peculiar statement we do not give any uh, we do not would not like to comment any anything on this statement Thank you Mr Bomond for talking to India today any it is pleasure having you on our platform my pleasure thank you